Hello again. Hello again. Welcome back to uh, this colorful world and our current farmy adventures. So right now we want to tell you about the very first weekend after we had gotten our keys to the farm and we went straight from the realtor right here with our staff and we're like, we're staying here. If you haven't seen the video that we did before, feel free to, to do that. Definitely check that out. Yeah, yeah, definitely check that out. But okay, so the first night was amazing. It was beautiful, lovely. How was um, first morning? First morning. <laughs> Waking up. Mm -hmm. It was freezing. It was ice cold. I thought I was in ice world. And we were under blankets and blankets and blankets and like sheepskins. It was freezing. Yeah. So these old houses, they're actually log cabins. They're like timber cabins with um, thick, like thick, a, thick a facade on the outside, uh, planks. When we got here in November, it was cold, but it was like unseasonably cold. And if you imagine a log house <laughs> that had, nobody has been in, for a long time. For a long time. And these logs, you know, they're like this big and they're cold. They're like frozen basically yeah. through. Yeah. And you need to heat that. Basically thaw them. <laughs> yeah. Once they're once the house is thawed, the log cabins hold heat incredibly well. Mm -hmm. But they need to be warmed up first. Yeah. The first Day, the first the first evening the like, excitement kept us warm yeah then comes sleeping time and uh, and also during the night and the waking up part it was hard it was hard it, it's that you know you know in those situations when you like poke a little like toe outside of the blanket and you're like oh, oh absolutely <laughs> not back in and I woke up and I thought I don't know this is crazy this is insane and and truth to be told you guys if it wasn't for lauren and lauren's passion for nature and like farming and gardening and stuff i don't think that i would be in this uh situation at all <laughs> maybe i would actually said... not after that first night no gosh uh the the first, let's call it the first weekend because it was just not one cold night yeah um so i just remember laying there like i can't believe we did this this is gonna be so crazy oh god but um even my spirit was was a bit rough and i remember yeah. i remember like i recorded this video and i think i have it and if so i'll play it now we just had our first night on the farm um Okay, so here's the thing. It's not comfortable right now. Even though it looks really pretty, like it, it's not comfortable. So, uh, and it, yeah, it looks like a, a dream, a wonderland, and it is outside. Um, but on the inside, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not a comfortable way to live. So we need to figure something out so that, uh, we keep our energy and our happiness going. Um, yeah. I was very distraught. I was like, people shouldn't have to live in the cold. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not nice. It was so dramatic too. It like the way really you did like it. Like tears just, in my eyes. Just so dramatic. <laughs> Like one night later, okay. Oh my god. We had been there for like less than 24 <laughs> hours. Anyway, anyhow, let's move on. Okay, so it was freezing and we're like, holy shit, what have we done? Uh, what did we do next? So then we thought, okay, well the, the natural reasonable thing to do since there's no radiators in the house, but there's so many fireplaces, tiny house, three fireplaces, four if you include the baking oven. We were like, 
Let's light some fires and we'll warm this house up and it's going to be so And by cozy. some fires, we mean like four fires, like <laughs> anywhere Let's possible. Let's light fires everywhere that it's possible. So we started in the living room and we said, okay, big fireplace here. Let's light it up. <laughs> Made a nice fire. It was going, burning great. And then opened the door to the kitchen and the kitchen was <laughs> full of smoke. We got smoked out, you guys. The, the smoke was going up the, up the chimney out of the living room fire and then down and into and out of the kitchen. Mm, too much heavy cold air in the chimney could not like the hot air. It, it just couldn't, it couldn't yeah. get up. It couldn't so then, get out. So then we were like, well, okay, that's not working. Why don't we try to light a fire in <laughs> the kitchen, in the in the wood fire stove? That's a good idea. That's mo That must be a great idea. It's all metal. It'll be like a nice heating element. Lisa's dad has one. He knows like <laughs> how to do it. He was in there for... I want to say like multiple hours trying mm. to get it to first light. It wasn't lighting. And then when he did, instead of the smoke going up, all the smoke was coming out. Yeah. So again, we got smoked out again. <laughs> no radiators are only source of heat. <laughs> it was just like having bonfires in a small house. Yeah. The Again, we were like, what have we done? We don't even know how these fireplaces work. <laughs> and, what, you know, sitting there, you're like, there's such a steep learning curve because me, being from the suburbs in Southern California, I'm like, <laughs> gosh, there's a fireplace. But you people can don't put even... a fire in it, yeah. open the flue, put a fire in it, and then you have a, a fire. That's like... That's not necessarily <laughs> correct when it comes to like or these like how old it works. places. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in, in those Southern California houses, it's 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 a design element. It's a cozy design element that you use. And some people, even like your parents, they buy these logs that you actually like the the paper on fire and then yep. the log. <laughs> yeah, it's very different when you're in an old log timber house that is like 300 years old and that's your only source of heat right like and there are multiple channels going like it's a it's a different story but what happened next kung morgan oh kung morgan so <laughs> i just want to say that in this video series i really i hope with my whole soul that we can also make YouTube videos with the people that are living around here. Oh my God. Because they are amazing and quirky and lovable and just like... And really knowledgeable in their respective areas. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. So there's this And they guy. show up at all times. Yeah, yeah. It's not like what we're used to when people text and you know when, when you're going to meet up with someone. No, no, no. It's more like... Holy shit, there's a car. I don't have pants on. Uh, <laughs> who's by my door? So, or you say, let's see you at 10 a.m. You got to be ready from 9 a.m. to 11. Right. Like, it's a, it's count like a span. the span. <laughs> it's a span of, of time. Yeah. Kung Morgan. So, Kung Morgan is, uh, we call him King Morgan. And we actually call people king or queen if they are giving us knowledge about <laughs> yeah. the property and what we're supposed they, to do. They so, quickly become very important to us. Yes, exactly. So um, Morgan is a guy that was helping us cut down trees. And he comes over to like look at some stuff and he's like, how's it going for you guys? And he okay. said, uh, very good, thank you. It's fine, um, we're very cold. And he's like, oh, you haven't gotten the, the fireplace working yet. And we said, uh, no, we something have. must be wrong. We're getting smoked out. Yeah, something's wrong with something's wrong with it. And he's like, oh, but that's no problem. Like, just follow me. And he's so he's quite little and like very excitable. And he like runs down into the house. He just shows us how to do it. It was little tweaks that we didn't know about before, and all of a sudden it was just working. And we were like, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. And since that day. He came, we had a fire going in the wood stove all through November and December, and it yeah. was l just a lovely, even heat through the house. Oh my gosh, it was so, so nice. Plus, we also went to the store and got radiators, new 
nice, efficient radiators. We did. I so think we were that's like, important. Oh, yeah. Now it's warm. Now it's actually like nice. Exactly. So from that point, we were able to even use the stove, and we um, we cooked quite some nice meals on there. Oh, that, that was, was so a nice. really cool experience, and I'm excited to have mm. more of those. And yeah. um, that was our first weekend um, where we were like, "What the heck did we do? This is miserable, but beautiful, but miserable." <laughs> and then saved by Kung Morgan and some modern radiators. So in our next farmy video, we're going to be talking about the stuff that we've been up to on the property. We'll probably do some sweet like action montages of, <laughs> um, of us doing stuff and cleaning and prepping and, and you'll be able to get to see a little bit more of the actual space. So we hope you tune in for that as well. And don't forget you guys, follow us on Instagram at this colorful world and at Smeatharpet Sweden, where you'll see plenty more content from us working around the farm and beautiful photography of the farm. Absolutely. All right, until next time. Bye. Bye.